In today's episode, we follow Aircrete Harry in Colorado as he constructs a dome-shaped cabin from start to finish. These domes stand out for their futuristic design while drawing on ancient construction principles. From Roman temples to Arctic igloos, rounded shelters have sparked human interest across eras and cultures. They're incredibly strong, energy-efficient, and ideal for DIYers aiming for off-grid independence. Harry kicks things off by preparing aircrete and pouring it to create a unified foundation slab. This mixture combines Portland cement, water, foam, and bits of cellulose for insulation. The cured slab is both strong and lightweight, offering excellent thermal performance. Next, the team begins assembling the airform mold, an idea with deep historical roots. Traditional communities used circular shelters for their efficiency, resilience, and simplicity of construction. Domes excel at dispersing weight evenly, making them resistant to harsh weather and seismic forces. That's why they've become popular in sustainable housing, eco-retreats, and isolated homestead projects. Here, we see the Tyvek airform being inflated to serve as the foundational shape for the dome structure. To reach the top, a pair of ladders joined by a steel bar and held by ratchet straps forms a stable working scaffold. A high-powered air compressor drives a custom sprayer to apply cement directly to the inflated surface. This method, Shakrete, relies on air pressure to layer the cement, creating a solid shell. It enables smooth, continuous curvature and consistent buildup without the need for molds or frames.
To aid curing inside, the team installs an electric heater to regulate temperature during drying. The white Tyvek air form remains beneath the cement layer until deflation, after which it's removed cleanly. Where the dome's shape meets doors, windows, and structural connections, precise detailing is required. Next, the team shifts to shaping those openings and sealing the exterior finalizing the dome into a habitable, weather-ready space. Aircrete stands out for being affordable, insulating, and easy to manipulate for custom construction. It can be shaped into large curved forms or blocks that are both sturdy and light enough for manual handling. The dome's apex is particularly vulnerable to infiltration by water or falling debris. To prevent this, Harry carefully seals and smooths the surface, enhancing both its look and resilience. Once the material sets, the unified structure has fewer entry points for moisture thanks to its seamless, rounded design. Through his online content and hands-on builds, Harry is raising awareness about dome-style construction. He's become a leading voice in the DIY dome community by walking viewers through each phase of the process. His projects highlight the value of working intuitively with materials, often deviating from mainstream construction norms. One fascinating feature of dome geometry is its efficient shape, which minimizes surface exposure. This leads to better thermal performance, as there's less area for heat to escape in winter or enter in summer. When combined with Aircrete's natural insulation, the result is a structure that requires minimal energy to stay comfortable. As Harry sculpts the dome's exterior with his unique cement mix, another perk becomes clear. Long-term upkeep is simple. After sealing and painting, the dome needs little maintenance over its lifespan. It's immune to rot, resists insects, and avoids many of the common issues found in traditional roofs and siding. The dome's uninterrupted form helps shield it from leaks and reduces damage from wind, rain, and sun. That makes it particularly well-suited for rural builds where reliability and durability matter most.
The way Harry textures and layers the material strengthens the shell and also improves interior acoustics. Its thick, rounded walls absorb sound, cutting down on echo and blocking outdoor noise. Alongside this, the dense aircrete slowly moderates indoor temperature by retaining and releasing heat. As the mix cures, it fuses with the reinforcing mesh, forming a strong, energy-efficient outer shell. Aircrete remains workable before it sets, making it easy to reshape or layer without losing structural cohesion. Harry smooths the fresh mixture with gloved hands, blending new layers seamlessly into the ones beneath. Using a trowel, he evens the surface refining the dome's curves into a continuous and unified form. Philosophically, Harry's building method revives hands-on, intuitive construction practices. Each scoop of material is applied by feel, aligning naturally with the dome's curve, without reliance on rigid plans or guides. This process reflects vernacular building traditions, which are shaped by local resources, conditions, and builder know-how. Architectural research and studies in human psychology show that soft, rounded forms can reduce anxiety. Gentle curves, the lack of corners, and shifting natural light contribute to a serene, cocoon-like space. As the exterior nears its final form, the dome begins to take on the appearance of a complete dwelling. The main door appears custom-fitted or retrofitted, featuring insulation, a window insert, and secure hardware. Installing it in a curved wall requires meticulous sealing and shaping to keep it airtight and structurally sound. With the exterior formed, the project moves into the detail-oriented phase of interior sealing and treatment. The interior gets a base coat that prevents water from being absorbed and helps cut down on interior dust. The dome's rounded shape and pale-colored finish bounce light throughout the space, enhancing brightness. This effect not only conserves energy, but also improves the home's overall sense of warmth and openness. Once painted, the structure becomes weathertight and ready for long-term outdoor exposure. White paint on the exterior helps reflect sunlight, keeping surface temperatures cooler and improving insulation performance. From humble materials like foam, cement, and reclaimed wood, the build reaches a functional and elegant state. Harry's dome has transformed into a real, livable space soon ready to receive floors, utilities, and decor. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next episode.